One of the things I love about surf fishing is that you never know what you're going to see when you're out there on the beach. So check this out. fish. I'll get this sinker unstuck. You want to try? Yeah. Alrighty. So you want to reel like right away. All right. Keep it reeling. Oh man. He must have popped off. Did you feel it like yeah, I felt like pop it was off? Lighter. Yeah. Took the sand flea off the top. So we'll put another one out there. We know that's what they want. So we got our fish and grill red boat rig. It's been working really good for us lately. And we got sand fleas. That's, I'm not casting it too far. It's about it. So you're gonna tighten, tighten the drag down and then just start reeling. If you hold it, hold it up here with this hand, it'll give you a little more power. There you go. Here we go. All right. And that's a whiting. That's a good, that's a good fish. Awesome. All right, we'll take him off and uh, throw him in the bucket. So with whiting, I just grab him behind the eyes. See, so I have all those head shakes they do. He really swallowed, look, he swallowed this whole thing down his throat. Come on, buddy. He was that hungry. I'm going to have to get the, twe uh, the pliers. We might have a fish on this one, but we're kind of watching it. It's really close, so it could be just the waves grabbing it, but it might be a fish. Okay, buddy. You didn't have to inhale it. <laughs> like swallowed the whole hook. I feel like I'm doing surgery on him. Caroline is reeling. You might need to tighten that drag up. If you're going to be visiting Northeast Florida and you want an experience that you have never had before, why don't you consider booking a surf fishing charter with me, Kathy Sanders. I supply all of the bait, all of the equipment. All you need to do is bring whatever you would bring to have a fun time at the beach. All the information is there at the bottom of the screen. You can go to fishing-girl.com, fill out our booking form, and let's get some dates scheduled and get you out here fishing. Oh good, another whiting. Oh, he fell. <laughs> Here, I'll take the rod if you want to pick him up. There we go. Nice. And another whiting. That's good. Here, let me hold this and you hold the line of the fish. Finally got our last rig out. Kept getting fish, which is good. So this has got a pyramid on it, so we're not going to be able to tighten it down all the way. Let me get this off of here for you. He's getting the hang of it. It's got the mechanics of it down, so yeah. I think the more he practices it, the more he'll be able to cast it out a little farther. He's been caught a couple times, I think. He's got a hole right there. I got two fish. You've got doubles. Oh, I got two! Awesome. So I've got this nice sand flea with a tiny square of fish gum. This is pompalicious. Flavor's been working good. And I'm gonna pass this out. All right. There we go. Got another catfish. Oh, we're getting hit here too. Wanna hit this? You wanna reel this one in? Lift it right out and start reeling. We've got a spot fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. It's called a spot fish. Here we go. He's a wiggly guy. And we've been watching a stingray that's been practically beaching itself to feed on the sand fleas. Right here. Oh, there's two. There's two. Right there, right here, and I have to get third one down 
one here. There's one there. Yep. See him? He's a big one. Look at him. We got stingrays that are beaching themselves to Here's one. We'll be able to see it in just a second when the waves come back. There he is, right there. That's a pretty good sized one. That one's good. But we've seen at least three of them right up here on the beach. But we're fishing. I'm, uh, I've got a charter. i got a family out here. We're catching fish. Let's see. There's two of them right here. we got 340 people watching. Fishing girl. There we go. Three of them. We got three. We got three stingrays right here on the beach. There might be one. Check him out. Sweet. Oh yeah, we got three. One, two, three. There he is, right there. Check out that stingray. Woo. Take a look at our lines. Oh yeah, saw me catch a pompano yesterday. Yes, that was that was a keeper pompano. I gave that to my clients because they never tried pompano before. So that was awesome. Yeah, thanks for watching. No, I don't fly fish. Uh, this is Varn Park. We're north of Flagler Beach. Oh, we got a fish right here. Do you want to reel that one? She's been having uh, been in reel as many fish as possible. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, I think that's a whiting. Let's check this fish out, guys. This is a, uh, I believe, a southern kingfish, aka whiting. They kind of have a pinkish look to them. Let's bring them back to the cart and we'll take them off. Hold them, uh, grab them right behind the eyes, like really tight, because he's going to do those head shakes and try to shake himself free. Go. And then that's a circle hook, so you're going to reverse the circular motion of that hook. Just kind of twist it around. There you go. You got it. What do you want me to Awesome. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're very floppy. Hang on, I'll get you. There he is. <laughs> um, no, Mike, we're using anywhere from 9 to 12 foot rods. Mostly 11 and 12 foot today. Actually, all of ours. Oh no, he's going in the bucket. Yeah, that's a good eating fish. Whiting are awesome to eat. <laughs> Flip this around, you guys can see my earrings. They're pompano. These are my favorite earrings ever. So, they're pompano. We sell these, actually. I don't think we have too many in stock left. So, but yeah, these, we've got starfish, sea turtles, dolphins, and redfish also. If you wanna check out the, um, the earrings, Go to fishin-girl.com. That's fishing without the G, fishin-girl.com. And we sell pompano rigs, we sell float rigs for surf fishing. We sell, um, well, we don't sell the tank tops. We sell t-shirts with fishing girl on it. All kinds of stuff, so go check that out. I'm gonna shut this down because we gotta start packing up here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show you the stingrays because that was really cool. So we'll catch you guys later. We'll see you next time.